So I have this wild theory about this Christian and his crazy, um, very anti-Christian message that if you're a Christian, you don't sin. Yeah, a Christian cannot sin. That is what he is pushing. That a Christian is incapable of sin. Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting my... Hang on, let's make ourselves look... I'm old, nobody wants to see that. <clears throat> yeah, a Christian is incapable of sin. And if you notice, he's also a mega Trump supporter, which is funny. Uh, Trump, who claims to be a Christian, and that's all he does is sin. So, so maybe this is a new form of Christianity that Mega has come up with. This is my theory. It's a new form of Christianity to try to explain Donald Trump and the fact that he sins like most people. <gasps> my cat is bumping again. <laughs> my cat is walking behind my hand that it has the phone <laughs> and he shoved the phone in my face oh my gosh T Teddy <laughs> he is. anyway so back to my theory <clears throat> um they've come up with this form of Christianity to explain Donald Trump who sins like most people breathe I'm going to for forego with my normal thing that I say about there's no such thing as sin. It's a made up concept. There, I just said it anyway. No, Donald Trump sins, does things that are bad, like most people breathe. So how does a Christian who wants to look at Trump and think of him as a good person, despite all this, explain it? Easy. A Christian cannot sin. So if Donald Trump does really bad things, that is not a sin. That's right. Donald Trump could commit murder and it would not be a sin because he's a Christian. Donald Trump can ogle little girls and it's not a sin because he's a Christian. Christians are incapable of sin. Do you see where this is going? This is how they explain away Donald Trump's lewd, disgusting, immoral behavior. The fact that he's a complete... I mean, the man lives to destroy other people and tear, tear people down. That's what he gets off on. I've never met, I've never met, I didn't, I've never met him either. I've never seen in my life anybody so unpleasant, so negative, so f cruel. He's cruel. He doesn't, he is a, um, I had, I had somebody live with me once who was a sociopath. So I read a little bit about sociopaths, and they come in different degrees of sociopaths. There are people that have a dulled conscience, and then there are people that's on one end of the spe spectrum of sociopath. They have a dulled, they have a conscience, it's just dulled. And then there's the people on the other end of the spectrum that have no conscience whatsoever. That's Donald Trump. He is completely devoid of any conscience whatsoever. But they've, they've come up with a way to explain it. He doesn't commit sin. Whatever he does, it's good. Because Christians cannot sin. So Donald Trump's lies, those are good. Donald Trump... The felonies, those are all good because Christians can't sin. And so so it, it's, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's so incredibly backwards. Um, Christians are supposed to be humble. They're not supposed to be proud. Let me ask you, is Donald Trump humble? Is there even the slightest flicker of humility in that man? No, there's no humility in that man. He's never been humble in his entire life. A Christian is supposed to be a servant to others and put himself, his needs, his wants, his desires beneath those of others. A Christian is supposed to give the shirt off his back to help somebody else. 
and want to give to people in need. Does that dis does that even remotely describe Donald Trump? No, not even remotely. And probably not this guy either. Because his version of Christianity is not a version I've ever heard in my life. I've never heard it. A, it's pure arrogance. And that's another thing that is totally opposite of the Christianity I grew, grew up with. Arrogance. I'm pretty sure that's a sin. The, the sin of pride. Oh, Christians never sin. Yeah. No, they do. That's why, that's why Christians need Jesus. Most of us who are not Christians, we figure out other things like maybe learning from our mistakes and just never doing them again, feeling bad, maybe going to the person that we have wronged and apologize to them. That's what I do. I don't, I don't apologize to a made up imaginary character anymore. I, I go to the person that I've wronged and I try to make amends and apologize and try not to do it again. But as a Christian, when I was a Christian, I never, I never had the amount of arrogance that it would take to say, I'm a Christian. I'm incapable of sin. <laughs> Wrong. I know I've been a Christian for 35 years. I've been an atheist for over 10 years. And even still, I know the religion more than this guy does.